Bola Ahmed Sinubu, the president of Nigeria, is working. You know, people still have hope in him, high hopes in him. Um, fingers crossed on that. But today we're going to be checking out an interesting one. I noticed on the channel, lots of the videos we bring would be about politics and a lot of things that don't seem encouraging. So I saw this one and I thought, hmm, maybe this is going to help the people feel optimistic about this new rule well the video we're going to be checking out today is titled president bola tinubu attracts 14 billion dollar investments from india i'll read that again president bola ahmed tinubu attracts 14 billion dollar investments from india well brace yourself for this one and let's check it out Just for the investors. Oh, he flew to India. It is very difficult period. Yes. But the success is not made of an individual except from a team and I have a good team. Yes. yes. God will help you. God will help you. I'll pray for that. Thank you. So sir. that one day we come to Nigeria where you see a, such a big success. I'm looking forward to that. Yes, I'll be very happy. I'm unable to meet you tomorrow as planned and you agreed to immediately meet him this evening and uh, it shows what you are all about, what you are determined to do is bring investment to Nigeria that will grow the economy and reduce poverty and make life better for Nigerians. Mr. Bragash Hinduja is of the Hinduja brothers. They are a they have assets worldwide of one hundred billion dollars. Assets worldwide of one hundred billion dollars. Hmm. And in America, they have assets of $50 billion. And if I may say so, their net worth is $32 billion. So they're the type of uh, uh, business people that uh, you are keen to meet and you are keen to get their commitment to invest in Nigeria. I know a lot of people have, just before he speaks, I'm going to say a lot of people have their doubts on Bola Metinubu, and I'm not ignorant of that from the, you know, the situation of the election and the court case and his education case and the case he had, you know, had to pay money for, like a, I think it was a bail money for. People have their doubts. But the question I'm going to ask, do you think this is a step? I mean, not his personality now but his, his move to attract investors, do you think this is going to be a successful step to move Nigeria to the next, you know, the next level? Do you think he can really do this? What if, I'm not paid to say this, don't come to my comment section and say he's giving me money. He hasn't given me money. <laughs> Even if he did, I wouldn't do it. But I'm just saying, what if he turns out to impress Nigerians? Do you see that hope? It's a, it's a legit question. Feel free to let me know if he can really do it. Because I'm not ignorant of how things are in Nigeria. The fuel price right now, the dollar rates, and a lot more. Unemployment rates, insecurity. I hear it. I'm directly connected. I'm not in Nigeria, but I'm in Nigeria. You know, one, one leg in, one leg out. I'm there often. I'll be there in a few months. So I'm not ignorant. But my question is, is there any hope, even in the slightest, that Bola Ahmed Sinubu can move Nigeria to where it has to be? Talk to me in the comment section. I want to hear. We are open for business. You've heard it. We have capable government. 
to drive the economy of Nigeria mm -hmm. and to be able to give you the best return possible. There's no else. You pick many in America and many other parts of the world. Nigeria offers the best return on investment as it today. So invest. Honestly, that's not a lie though. I do I do believe that not just Nigeria, Africa as a whole, the best places to invest are in Africa right now if you're looking for the highest rate of return. Because in Africa, a lot of things or the opportunities to do a lot of things. And if you come to like the Western nations like in Canada, US, or even countries like Japan and South Korea, those things are already done. But if you go to Africa, you'd probably be the first person doing it, which means you're going to have good business and high rates rates on high return on investment pardon me so yeah go invest in nigeria guys if you're watching and you're looking for a place to invest nigeria is the place for you talk to me if you if you need more ideas just talk to me i got you Fertilizer and petrochemical plant. It is wonderful, wonderful. We look forward to it. We look forward to um, future collaboration, closer collaboration. We've always collaborated with India, uh, going back to the non-aligned movement, uh, struggle for independence, liberation of uh, African countries. So closer ties and of course lots of opportunities for business. And G20, we look forward to, uh, to joining in good time. And uh, Nigeria is uh, on the table, wants to be part of the decision-making process globally. Mm. Okay. The question is, hope we're not selling our souls for all these deals. What are they getting in return, you know? Hope is just a fair business and we don't have to suffer in the future because of what we signed today. I'm just asking. Okay, so that was a video by i think the channel is vaughn i'll put the link to the channel in the description so you can go check them out 
I didn't bring that video for any political reason. I just want to be very clear. I'm not trying to advocate or get you to, to support anybody. I just brought that video to, you know, to give you some kind of hope that maybe there might be something going on that could move Nigeria to the next generation, the next step, pardon me, or bring some light to the to the darkness we've been seeing, the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Nepal will take light. Anyways, let me know what you think about that. Share your thoughts. Is the end of this one. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a wonderful day. Peace.